Hey, welcome back. It's Wednesday, September 6, 2023. Let's talk redistricting, facial recognition, and road projects. My name's Ike Morgan, and we're down in Alabama. The Alabama State Legislature's second run in a congressional redistricting plan still didn't pass muster for three judges on a federal court that rejected the new map on the grounds that it's still likely in violation of the Voting Rights Act, reports AL.com's Mike Kasin. So the court wants Alabama to move further away from what appears to be racially gerrymandered districts, while the Republicans who control the legislature didn't produce a plan that would risk allowing the Democrats to have a real shot at picking up a second Alabama seat in the U.S. House of Representatives. So where do we go from here? The Supreme Court, if Republican State Attorney General Steve Marshall has his way, he's appealed the case to the High Court. When dealing with the original redistricting map, the Supreme Court upheld the lower court's rejection. Outside of any judicial reversals, a new map is being produced not by the legislature, but by officials who've been appointed by the court. Richard Allen will oversee the process. He's been a chief deputy under four Alabama attorneys general. He was a state prison commissioner for five years, and he retired from the U.S. Army Reserve as a brigadier general. Cartographer David Ely will join Allen in working up three maps by September 25th. There will be three days then in which people can object to the maps, and there will be a hearing on October 3rd. Tech workers at Redstone Arsenal in Huntsville are testing facial recognition, reports AL.com's Lee Rue. That doesn't mean you can cruise through the gates with a smile at this point, so keep your ID handy but there are single cameras up at a handful of gates and multiple cameras at gate 10 that might be able to identify everyone in a vehicle. The goal here is to get the 40,000 some employees on and off the arsenal quicker and of course securely. The biometrics firm Idemia is doing the experiment. The company makes Alabama driver licenses as well as scanners that read your TSA card in airports, credit cards, and passports. With all the growing talk of widening Interstate 65, and with some of that already having money put behind it, the hope for a corridor in West Alabama hasn't gone away either, reports AL.com's John Sharp. Mayors from Mobile, Tuscaloosa, and Thomasville, and some area small towns joined a number of state lawmakers and county commissioners at a Thomasville library to express support for the highway. Thomasville Mayor Sheldon said, quote, the highway will open up opportunities for the Black Belt of Alabama that we've never seen in the history of the Black Belt. Republican State Senator Chris Elliott wasn't buying the build it and they will come aspect. He pointed to a lack of economic development that followed Mississippi's four landing of Highway 45. Now if you read or hear or see on social media that Birmingham is declaring bankruptcy, don't panic. That's referring to the Birmingham in the United Kingdom not the one an hour and a half's drive southeast of Hackleburg. To quote Sheriff Andy Taylor, we got way under too much smarts for that. After all, it's been nearly 12 years since we've had a massive municipal bankruptcy in this area. And that was the county. Thank y'all so much for listening. We're going to be back here again tomorrow. Until then, y'all come on by and see us on the internet at al.com.